Tonight, a First Coast man is facing grand theft charges in St. John's County, accused of taking a large down payment to make a custom door, then never finishing the work. First Coast News has found this case isn't the only time customers lodged such complaints against the man's business. On your side's Jocelyn Howard and talk with the business owner and finds his response to these claims. I am a 100% disabled veteran. I have difficulty walking. Norman Sassner fought in the rice fields of Vietnam. Now he is in a different battle for his health. Mobility is a difficult thing for me. And for his money. We had to upgrade my doors for egress. Uh, in case I needed to get out in a hurry. In March of this year, Sassner contracted Heckard's Door, a local business specializing in custom doors. I have communicated with you. The entire project was supposed to take 12 weeks. The cost, $24,000. Sassner made an $11,000 down payment. Emails show the bedroom doors were supposed to be installed within four weeks. He claims he gave a two to four week lead time on the French doors, which he did. After that, Sassner says he received the promise, but not the product. We waited and waited and waited. Nothing came. After six weeks, Sassner had enough and told Heckard via email. As stated before, your services are no longer needed. You are fired. It turns out Sassner's not the only complaint against Heckard's door. On your side, heard from other customers with similar stories. Alachua County court records show Heckard was sued by Robert Lindsay, a general contractor, for not receiving work on two projects. Court documents claim he shelled out $19,000. The final judgment? Heckard was ordered to pay Lindsay $57,000. In the last year, more and more of his clients are running out of patience. 11 people have filed complaints with the Better Business Bureau. Seven from this year. The complaints had a similar refrain. Most of them say pretty much the same thing, and that is that we made a large deposit for custom doors months and months and months and months ago, and those doors have not been delivered. Tom Stevens with the Better Business Bureau says his agency gives Heckard's Door an F rating and posted an alert to consumers on its website. Heckard says his business is being maligned by disgruntled former employees and customers whose complaints have since been resolved. What am I supposed to do when somebody, because the people know they can do this, they're like, hey, I'm going to post a bad review. When I get my doors, I'll take it down. So we give the doors, they leave the review. I have no recourse, like I can't call the, ba the bad customer bureau on them. He points out that his contracts say all custom orders are non-refundable and delivery dates are estimates, not guaranteed. But the St. John's County Sheriff's Office says if no work has been shown within a reasonable amount of time, it's a criminal offense. That's correct. Heckard was arrested in August after the Colton family paid him more than $9,000 in June 2018 for a project that had not been completed. And he's like, you have a warrant? And I'm like, yeah, right. You know, like, for what? He's like, I don't know. It's in St. John's County. And I thought, I like literally thought he was teasing. And it, I had not any idea what in the world it was for. It took three days for me to even figure out what it was for. Heckard was arrested on suspicion of grand theft and charged with felony larceny. He disputes the claim in the arrest warrant that no work had been done. How does anybody say that claim with with no no effort to justify or to prove it like did they come to the shop and look no heckard is due in court for that case on december 20th other customers are also trying to get their money back whether with lawsuits or i filed a complaint to the state Sassner took his fight to the Florida Department of Business and Professional Regulation. The DBPR took Sassner's complaint and mediated an agreement between Heckard and Sassner. Sassner agreed to an $8,500 refund from Heckard instead of his $11,000 down payment. I agreed to that. I just wanted to get the money and get him out of my hair and forget about it. The men agreed those payments would begin in September. Sassner contends that he's not received any payments under the settlement, but Heckard claims he made the first payment. I notified the state. I said I have not received the first check. Well, give it another couple of days. Okay. Called state bank. Had not received anything. 
to this date, I have not received anything from Barry Heckard. I have sent him his first payment out. He told me he hasn't received it and it was supposed to start in September. I sent him his first payment out for sure. It was for $2,500. When? When? I mean, I have to look up. This receipt. month, last month, September. Was it by the date that was on the document? Without me looking at it all, I don't, I really and truly don't know. Heckard has not responded to our request for written proof of payment. No blinds in the door. Eight months and $11,000 later, Sassner is eager to close the door on this chapter. I'd like to get my money back. <laughs> I'm tired of it. I'm just fed up. It's dragged on long enough, and I just want it to go away. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.